to me, class. There's something I neglected to mention in my earlier lesson. A clever assassin may avoid confrontation for a while, but sooner or later the fight will come. And when it does, every last ounce of strength will be put to the test. In my case, that would be now. Responding Sonic Boom. Clearly, this was not your garden variety battle royale. They couldn't make out their moves, but there was no mistaking it. Koro Sensei was losing ground. Big time. Koro Sensei! Sufficiently hopeless yet, guinea pig. A little math theorem. Square the inverse of your tentacles and solve for genius. Factored by the power of hatred. And you get superiority! Please, teach me to kill like that. You sure about that? I did just murder your father. You're not at all upset? Who cares about him? You, you're an artist. I'd give anything to do what you do. Nothing in my life has any meaning. Take me in. Teach me what you know, please. I'm willing. I'm willing to risk my life. The child had no concept of right and wrong, but his eyes. His eyes shone with an intelligence and a singular determination. There was the fork in the road, the point where I might have steered him differently, spared his sanity. They're in totally different leagues. This is a one-sided fight. All our hard work down the drain. Everything we've done the past year, meaningless. We were barely a distraction. Too stunned even to run away. Not just failures. Koro Sensei's failure. <laughs> He's dodging them. Am I saying things? 
<laughs> Let's see you deflect this! What the? <laughs> You're kidding me. Koro Sensei's using evasive moves with minimal energy, throwing handfuls of soil to block the light. That closes the gap between them significantly. He's analyzing and adjusting for his own weaknesses mid battle. I'm not surprised. That's our Koro Sensei. You may chalk this one down to experience. <laughs> I am the teacher. You are the student. I take full responsibility for your laps. But first... Yanagisawa, I'd like you to leave. This is a place of learning, not a war zone. You have no business being here! <sighs> you just won't let go of this fantasy of being an educator, will you? Deranged little guinea pig. Answer me this, teacher! Why do you suppose we chose this of all moments to launch our final offensive? <laughs> you will protect them, right? That is what a teacher's meant to do. What the hell's going on? Where are the children? Are you all right, sir? Coral Sensei! Well, well, aren't you the model protector? You could easily dodge these blows if you had a mind to. Yet you stay for the sake of your poor defenseless charges. I believe it's time, 2.0. Another, please. <laughs> And another. And another. And another. And another. And another. I don't think I've ever seen hatred more intense. When fueled by bloodlust, there's no emotion more destructive. Killing won't satisfy a man like that. He won't stop until his target is obliterated. Mind, body, heart, and soul. <laughs> Corral the guinea pig with his precious students, and this was all but a foregone conclusion. Sorry, boys and girls, you chose poorly. Showing up here tonight only increased the likelihood of his dying by our hands. Shut up, Yanagisawa. I think we've all heard just about enough out of you. Huh? Karasama! Make yourselves comfortable and enjoy the show. I'm afraid at this juncture, there's really nothing else you can do. <laughs> We'd seen it. All along. We'd seen, but... We looked away. Optimistically, I'd say seven or eight. Surely you can't just leave these poor young people to drown, can you? How does it feel? Watching your students quake with despair as they realize how much of a hindrance they've been. Do you understand now? They are your greatest weakness! He's absolutely right. It... It's... That is preposterous! You're a fool if you think I'll believe it's that cut and dry! These children, they've risked life and limb to save me! What they've gone through just to be here tonight is extraordinary! Their determination, their unflappable spirit! Students like these are the greatest gift a teacher could ask for! They are not a hindrance! They are not a weakness! They are my class! And I am proud of each and every one of them! Call it what you will. But when the chips are down, I will give my life to protect them! Yes, that's all fine and good. So dutiful. And yet I'm afraid we have to deny you even that satisfaction. See, your strength will run out soon. At which point the children you're protecting, let's just say their future won't be as bright as you'd hoped. 
Everything you've gained over the last year, you've gained by destroying our lives. I will ensure that it was all for nothing. Then and only then will my revenge be complete. Now then, let's continue. Where were we? Yes, of course. Mind that you pay close attention. <laughs> Idiot! What the? Make a run for it, sir! Find a place to hide. You need to recover. I'll buy you some time. Kayano, what are you doing? Uh -huh. Even with the tentacles excised, your kinetic vision remains. No, Kayano! Stop this at once! It was all my fault. <laughs> I brought us down. Because of me, everyone had to face the truth. We'd been like a family, and I ruined it. So please, just let me do this. As your student, I owe you one. You can't put this on yourself, Kayano. Sooner or later, we all would have had to face reality. Your actions simply made us take stock and regroup! Oh. What do you say, 2.0? Koro Sensei. I've got this. All I have to do is try. My sister taught me that. Ah! So did you! <laughs> Unbelievable! What are the odds of having both sisters die right in front of me? <laughs> Tragic ends must run in the family, huh? <laughs> Can you imagine if I'd kept her around as a backup wife? Too bad for me. It looks like I have a thing for women destined to be impaled. <laughs> But you are a devastating creature when your emotions twist past the point of endurance. Black indicates well nigh unimaginable power. At last, your true colors are on full, glorious display! Isn't it liberating to shed that ridiculous facade? All year long, you've been a smiling hypocrite. How wonderful to see you as you really are. But alas, considerable though your power may be in this form, the new and improved you will negate it effortlessly. Thank you for playing. Behold his final attack. We need to get out of here! Are you for real? Come on, we're wasting time! He's distracted! If we stick around, it'll only make things worse! You can't be serious! Living to fight another day is a perfectly reasonable battle tactic. <laughs> this has been the year from hell, hasn't it? Well, fortunately, it's all over. What? A white light! But he... his tentacles are still black! No. 
He's gone back to yellow. Nuh-uh, that's red. He's green. And blue. And white. Every color. Every emotion. Every element of my past. My entire life. Mixed together. Into pure white energy. Treasured pupil. <clears throat> May your graduation help you find peace! <laughs> Shit! No! No! Kabarian liquefies tentacles! Damn you! What are these flowers for? Uh, I just thought they looked pretty is all. Figured making arrangements might, I don't know, come in handy one day or something. Sorry, Master. I can move them. Hmm. No, leave them here. You've got a keen eye. Nicely done. <laughs> you really mean that, sir? I can make a fresh bouquet every morning. I suppose you could, but I'd rather you study chemistry. With what you know now, you'd be lucky to kill a mosquito. <laughs> if I'd only seen that smile, I might have led the poor boy down an entirely different path. Tentacle spoke to me, asked me what I wanted. And I said, to be acknowledged by you. To be like you. To be like you. But you are. You are and you always have been. More than you understood. If by chance we meet again, on the other side, let's pick up where we left off. The fight was over, but none of us were shouting for joy. Koro-sensei... Kayanos... Why don't we lay her down? Not so fast. One moment, please. Sorry, I'd rather her cells not come in contact with the soil. But, sir... Children, I've made mistakes, more than I care to count. What's done is done. The past can never be regained or revised. If, however, we attend carefully, it can teach us how to move forward. What is that? If you're looking at Kayano's blood and somatic cells. I gathered as much as I could before she fell to the ground and stored them in a sterile membrane of compressed air for safekeeping. You, you did all of that in the middle of a battle? I set a few tentacles aside for protecting you. Of the rest, I used some for fighting and some for this. Okie dokie then. Time to string these cells together one by one. Faster. And more accurately. You see, class? I've been improving my skills for some months now. If what happened to Augury repeated itself, I was adamant about being prepared. Now, some cells couldn't be recovered, so I'll leave strategic gaps. Those I'll fill in with tiny bits of mucus. In a few days, what cells there are will have regenerated in sufficient quantities to replace them. I'm a little low on blood. Type AB donors, if you please. Nakamura, the birthday cake. Collect it and stuff it in my mouth immediately. Do what? 
You realize it's been one with the dirt for the past half hour, right? That doesn't matter. I have to replenish my energy. Besides, I can't stop thinking about it. 30 minute roll! 30 second roll! <laughs> I think the room's starting to close up. He didn't use a single stitch. Didn't leave so much as a mark. In a moment, her heart will start beating and she'll come back to life. According to my handy dandy what to do for a gut shot student manual, from here on out, it should be smooth sailing. But who thinks of writing a manual for something like that? I didn't mention this earlier for fear of sounding ghoulish, but if ever your bodies were torn to shreds, I was ready and able to put them back in order piece by piece. The ultimate student-teacher relationship, really. Because it requires, above all else, that I properly acknowledge you. <laughs> what did you... You saved me again, didn't you? As many times as necessary. After all, your sister would have done the same. <laughs> <laughs> the important thing is that you not make the same mistake twice. Augury, thank you for giving me this past year. Such a beautiful gift. I hope against hope I've been worthy of it.